a high level of confidence that there is in the New Zealand economy. Question number nine. Right Honourable Winston. Action time. <laughs> Mr Speaker, this question is to the Prime Minister and asked, does he stand by all his statements? If so, how? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, yes, Mr Speaker, I do stand by my statements and uh, as vigorously as is required to win an argument, particularly with that member, but it's getting easier and easier. Oh. <laughs> Sub the question. Arrogant. What it usually goes before Supp a fall. Supplementary, supplementary question. question. Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, does he stand by his statement that re-entering the Pike River mine was, quotes, not about politics, it's about safety, end of quotes? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, yes, because that statement accords with the legislation passed by this parliament uh, and for a politician to make a decision or instruct or force someone to enter that mine would be contrary to the law. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. Is he aware that New Zealand Mines Rescue conducted a thorough risk assessment on re-entry into Pike River Mine, which concluded that the risk from all hazards could be controlled to a tolerable and acceptable level, including the risks of explosion and fire? The right honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I'm aware they've done some kind of assessment, but really the only assessment that matters is the assessment of the decision maker, that is, the people who, under the law, are personally responsible for the workplace and responsible for the safety of anyone who goes in there. And the assessment of that group of people who would make the decision and take responsibility for any consequences, including pretty severe liability and punishment under the law, is that, is that those risks are too difficult to mitigate. It's not sending any soldiers. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. Now, is he aware that Queensland Mines Rescue also concluded a thorough risk assessment on re-entry into Pike River Mine in this document, which also concluded that the residual risks from hazard in Pike River could be controlled to acceptable levels of risk, which also included explosion and fire? Uh-oh. The right honourable Prime Minister. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I have read a whole lot of the material. I can't comment on that in particular. But I just ask the, the member to consider this. It turned out to be a very dangerous workplace before it had exploded and the risks were fully understood. Just imagine how dangerous a workplace it is now after multiple, exclu multiple explosions, uh, geological fracturing, and uncertainty about how those, uh, those uh, risks can be managed. So where do we end? Somebody question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. If the New Zealand Mines Rescue and Queensland Mines Rescue have both conducted thorough risk assessments on Pike River, why is he in this house talking bulldust? Exactly. The right honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, the uh, assessment, as I said, that's been the most thorough has been the one done with agreement, subsequent to agreement with the families by Solid Energy. If, if the member can put his mind, cast his mind back, the government agreed to the transfer of the mine to Solid Energy uh, at the wishes of the family so that this assessment could be done. It was done by people who would have to make the decision and they came to the conclusion that it was um, unsafe for manned entry. So the government has focused with the families, having met them in January, on unmanned entry to meet at least some of their requirements, uh, to gather more evidence, to better understand the cause, knowing full well that such an exercise will not meet all of the families' requirements. They are, uh, suffered the grief of loss of their loved ones and, answer, and unanswered questions. And uh, this next project goes some way uh, to meeting their requirements. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. Is it not a fact, Prime Minister, that these reports, paid for and expensive as they were, utterly and totally contradict his position that it's not safe to re-enter Pike River Mine, which begs the question, why isn't this house talking bulldust again? Right. Mm -hmm. The right honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, as I said, it, it's not fundamentally a matter of my position or even the member's position. 
It is a matter of the position of those who would be under the law who are responsible for their workplace and for the safety of anyone who goes in it. And the member may not be aware, but every day New Zealanders who are painting houses, who are putting boxes on shelves, who are operating machinery on factory floors deal with their health and safety legislation. And they would all understand the responsibilities much better than the member does. Excuse me, supplementary question. Supplementary question, right on the board, Mr. Peterson. Why has it taken over six years for the Pike River families, the Royal Commission of Inquiry, a parliamentary select committee, and the public to view the footage from March 2011 when he said yesterday, and I quote him, there's no reason why the families couldn't see it, end of quotes. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, as the member will, I, I, I think, now be aware, it hasn't been six years. Uh, in fact, as early as 2011, uh, there were discussions between the police and the families about the content of the videos. Uh, and the videos were all turned over to the Royal Commission, uh, who did, what, did whatever they did with them, but we understand they were taken into account and they were viewed by the, uh, they were also viewed by those who did the safety assessment. But of course it's, it would be much better if the families had the opportunity again, having had it back in 2011 and 12, having had the illegal representative uh, at the Commission of Inquiry the whole time with the opportunity to visit, to, to view all the video, to view it all again and the police are preparing uh, to release all of the videos again to the families by the end of the week, and I think the sooner they see the whole lot, the better. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. How can he reject the claim that this is a cover-up when the Pike River families, the Pike River Royal Commission of Inquiry and a parliamentary select committee never viewed the video footage that he is talking about now, confirmed also by the families QC, what do you call a person that makes out a statement that they have seen it when all these people say they have never been shown it? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, the, the member may want to take up uh, the issue with the police, uh, but it's quite clear from police statements that families saw the videos. In fact, I understand there was a discussion precisely about the smoking robot. Now, it doesn't mean that all of the families saw them, and it doesn't mean that uh, whoever saw them remembers seeing them, because it is five or six years ago. That is why that is a fairly pointless argument. The fact is that they've been available. Anyone who uh, was required to make a decision, including the Royal Commission, uh, has had the videos available. They will be available again by the end of the week. There is no cover-up. Question, question, Speaker. Number, so, no, no, the member has used his full allocation. Oh, well then, uh, point of order. Point of order, right, Honourable Winston. Mr. Peter. Speaker, I seek a, a leave to table a Mines Rescue Service New Zealand report on respect to, respect to Pike River, and also the Queensland Mines Rescue Service risk, risk assent, uh, assessment template as well. All of which rebuts what the Prime Minister is saying. Order, order the last part is completely unnecessary. I'll assume in the member seeking leave that they're not available publicly. Not available. So the members are seeking leave to table those two mine rescue reports. Is there any objection to them being tabled? There is not. They can be tabled. Question number 10, Phil Twyford.